Welcome to episode 87 of Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Um, it's it's moderator's choice, but it's also moderator's choice in December. So, um, as tradition dictates, we're going to start, but by no means complete, a point-and-click adventure um, with moderator extraordinaire Nutty Cluster. Um, who who will populate when she comes on screen? She's she's waving at you, bless her. She's she's not on screen yet, but um, she's going to be in the little box next to the little box. So I think we should get there now, straight away, don't you think? Let's see what happens with this uh, transition, shall we? Oh, there we go. Um, hello, Nutty Cluster. Hello. Oh, well, that's that's uh, terrible because you're frozen. On screen, I could hear you and everything, but you just you frozen. Oh. Why is that? One eternity later. This window looked like this. I'm gonna say, F it, this is that we're playing. Hey. Oh. After all that, here we go. Wow. So can you see everything you need to see? Yes. Thank F E Jeff for that. <laughs> So, we're recording in Zoom. We're recording in um, Streamlabs now. Streamlabs. Super. God, my hands are cold. Oh, right. <laughs> so, welcome to Grim Fandango. Um, moderator extraordinaire, Nutty Cluster, um, who is now down below me, um, likes an old point-and-click adventure. And she, an um, one. she's 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 a bit of a monkey island fanatic. But we thought, what could be more Christmassy than the um, travel agent of dead people, Mister Green Fandango? <laughs> I, know that, I know that's not his name, but uh, so let's crack on then, shall we, and have a play? Um, now, one thing I haven't checked <laughs> is if the mm -hmm. audio. For Grim Fandango is uh, working. Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Sorry Red for loud. the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to I take turned it you down now. as well. Take me. Take me where? No, no. Oh. There's no need to be yeah, nervous. Sure. Nervous? Hmm. Yeah, ¿Qué es esto? I don't think there's any more downing to take it. Let's have a look. No, no, it's fine. Oh, it's fine. It's not too loud. All right, let's set them all to, to low. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. What have we got? No. So that's pickup. Ah, the old files, the old clients, the glory days when people died with dignity and Domino Hurley didn't exist. What did you say? Pick up, look. Yeah, pick up, look. And I think, I don't know what the cog is. I think it might be like use, maybe? Right. So I felt there was. Do, do, is this all one thing it is, isn't it? Bad looks of it. I think it is, yeah. Looks like I got a message. Yeah, well, just mm. with it. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from 
Office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Iffy. Okay. My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. Okay. Not portable. Okay. Um, oh, here we go. It's a different view. <coughs> it's a deck of cards. Should we? Better we take these it? cards. It looks like a long day of solid yeah, for me. Pick it up. Okay. My boss is always giving me these motivational sales books. They bought the farm. So have you ever played this before? Stuff like that. I have, but I don't really remember this first tiny little bit. Right. Read them already. Didn't help. Okay. Okay. Um, what else is around the room? I think that if you go um, that way, it basically takes you just to the window, doesn't it? There. Or here. Yeah. This, that's back to the desk, isn't it? So is this? Yeah. I don't think we've missed... Well, we might have, but who knows? Domino's door is locked. Probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Not a bad idea, actually. Okay. <laughs> wow, I thought the scene would have changed by now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> that was a long walk. So, um, yeah, that's Ava, I think. Let's have a chat then. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? Oh, do we need to go to a poisoning? I don't know. What poisoning? Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Stuff. Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. I think go to the list. Oh, no. You're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Head left. After speaking to her. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. Sure, yeah, it should be some lifts. There we go. Oh, what's this door here? I mean, go to the poisoning is the only order we've had. Is that? I thought we had to get the work order signed. By who? Um, um, what's his face? Can't remember the name. The boss. Uh, the boss. But didn't he say it's everybody locked. go to the poisoning? Do we know where the poisoning is? I don't know. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Okay. Um, can you click on the car? Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, I sold so many car travel packages when I was first starting out. When did I lose my edge? We can't operate cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. So we're, we've got a choice. We can either go left or right. There are options for both. Okay. Um... Pick the nearest. Okay. <laughs> it was the wrong choice. <laughs> Oh, or is it? You could. Gonna let just let me walk in the wall. I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. No. There we go. I answered that. Oh, if you're so slow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, pinata. That's it for that then. Yeah. Got a feeling there's something to do down that alleyway, mind as well. What oh, yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Wringing your neck. What does it look like? Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? Oh. Some festival, huh? Yeah. Yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. I think we need to head back to the lift. Yeah, you, well, you don't have a tongue. I think we need to head back to the lift. You oh, are no. now, does it? Yeah. I don't think we went down far enough. We need to go down to the parking area. We took the wrong lift. Gotcha. Bang! Ah, pop another one. Lousy, bony fingers. I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? <laughs> the bread of the dead. That's it, is it me? Bread of the dead. Oh, right. Bread of the dead. We got an achievement for making him pop a balloon, though. Oh, excellent. That's a good start. I think we need to come back to the lifts. Um, because if I remember rightly, it triggers something that carries on with the story. Gotcha. A little bird up there. <laughs> hmm? You missed it. There's a little bird skeleton. Oh, cute. Send us not this way to the poisoning teleport. There's not, is there? No. See, the lift we got into just brought us to here. We didn't get any button presses or anything. I know, but there were two lifts. There was one dead ahead and there was one to the left. So when there. I said, what's this door here? I didn't hear you say that. I know. <laughs> there we go. Right, we need to find the office. There are lights for wash, rinse, wax, and land of the living, depending on your destination. Oh, you just want to select him and drag him across, don't you? Get over there. Yeah, it's just like, ah, uh, speed the f 
fuck up. Uh, do you know what I'm just gonna do? There we go, it's not for simple. What? I'm just gonna increase the size of the screen on the on the stream because it's got borders at each side, hasn't it? So everybody can have a better view. Okay. Take it up to the borders. I can't watch the street at the stream at the same time. Uh, no, I don't expect you to. Okay, so the office, you say? Yes. Longer legs, Manny. You need longer legs. <laughs> Is this an office or a toilet? Hey, service. Hey, who the? Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect the sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey, I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? It looks like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha, no. No, no, no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry, can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. Okay, see you later, chicken. You reckon? Yeah. Okay, see you later. I don't know. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Oh, you need... We've got to work through it all until we get a work order from him. <laughs> oh, so we've got to talk to him again. Yeah, sorry. It's a tool cabinet. Not picking that up. <laughs> Is it going to remember we've spoken to him already? Hey, Genie. I'm out of the lantern already. Gladys? Gladys? Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire... to drive! Or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. I told you, I'm too big. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? <laughs> But I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign. <laughs> Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. Right, back up to Ava then, get that work si work thingy signed. I've got to get this work order signed. I 
I've got to get these work orders signed. That won't help it get signed. If I really need the boss to sign this work order... I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. <laughs> okay, back down in, to, in the other lift now, and we'll go down the alleyway. Makes no sense to me so far. <laughs> there feels no rhyme, no reason to what we're doing. I don't like the way that eye is looking at me. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> um, I think we got that rope, do you think? It looks like a rope, but it's really just a bunch of cheap ties tied together. Finds a rope quicker than he walks. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. Featured your mic by any chance? I'll just change his auto response here. Not now, Ava! <coughs> yeah, you had. Thought so. Hey? You've muted your mic. Yeah, I did. And then you turned it back yep. on for cough. <laughs> <coughs> oh. I'll have to keep track of that then. Yeah. I thought you'd been quiet. <coughs> yeah, that's the one we want. Oh, great. Oh, great. Just say it yourself, will you? I'm yeah. busy. Hey, do we need anything else in here? I don't know. It feels like the, the rule of these are uh, click on everything. To all employees of the Department of Death Bureau of Acquisitions, employees who have made their sales quotas are invited to take the Day of the Dead as a holiday, as long as they make up the time lost on the following weekend. Idiota. This place is a mess. Okay, then. Yeah. I'm not sure there's anything else in here for it. 
Just thinking about Don's file system gives me a cold chill. Looks like the boss has gone fishing. Really, that's, that's all it let me go around there for. <laughs> My internet's been terrible. I can't see half this animation. Okay. Something with it. <laughs> you climb down it. It's just picking it up and throwing it down. <coughs> Chin round to it, see if it's the other way. It's pretty long though. To climb down it. Yeah, it just walk off like... the end, see if it works. <coughs> it doesn't look like you've got the choice. So I think I have to. Try and get it round this rope, right around this ladder. Or maybe across here. Although. No, I, th you... I think you're overthinking it. <laughs> Well, the ladder's I think walk place. away from it. Okay. Here we go. Told ya. <laughs> Still feel that you sh you should be able to. We'll have to come back at some point. Well, you. You might be able to, but it might be further on in the story. Right. Perhaps we should have done that now to save us going there twice. I don't know. Well, you said, oh no, climb down. Uh, Trap door. Oh, do you I knew you'd seen that. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? <laughs> Why wouldn't you indeed? There's lots of backwards and forwards in these sorts of games, isn't there? It is, uh, but and it's slow backwards and forwards as well. Hmm. I seem to remember we were always like, ah, Thimbleweed Park, we need to go to this place, and then get that and take it to that place, then go back to this place to get this. And... Mm. Yeah, but at least that was quicker. Yeah. This is particularly so. If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Saver, just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. <laughs> Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. <laughs> Hey, I look good in this, don't I? <laughs> yeah, well, they say black is slimming. I'm driving here! I'm driving! 
I'm not making any comments about you and driving. That would be a first. Well, now I've seen this, however, if I ever get in your car again, I'm going, I'm driving! I'm driving! The poison. Domino. The living still give me the creeps. Bound only by the paper thin wrapper of mortality, a soul here lies, struggling to be free. And so it shall, thanks to a bowl of bad gazpacho and a man named Calavera. Um, can you just say? I'm a professional. Oh, okay. So, um, there we go. <laughs> nice bathroom. <laughs> We offer several travel package upgrades if you'd care to cut the yap. I want something cheap where I can get some rest, now that's it. Ay, ay, ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, slam the front into the weeds, tub the rear end, two blowers, pop it out of the hood. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno, but my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill. Who you calling a scumbag? Why, well, I ought to... <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. Okay. Back to the office for another. Um. Yeah. Um. Have a look on uh, Ava's desk. See if there's anything on there. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. It's my boss's secretary. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. Okay. She should have a hole punch or something on there that we need. Nope. You know, Copas uh, really okay. in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. Grow up, darling. Mm -hmm. 
Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. What? Well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? <laughs> hmm. There are no other I'm things confused. to click on here. Well, I gotta right, go get okay. bricks. Okay. Is that, is that open now? Oh yeah. It's Domino Hurley, the sweatiest man in the office. You gotta sweat the cell, Callie, and you know it. Mm -hmm. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Callie, how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo-choo, little buddy. Say, how'd you score? I got a mean man <laughs> sent parcel post. Ah, cheer up, buddy. Another day, another death. Am I right? He's not helping us do anything, is he? Shoot, slugger. He's not what? He's not helping us do anything, is he? No. Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. Well, that's all I wanted to ask. For now. Well, kid, come back anytime you feel like continuing your education. <laughs> well, see you in limbo. Oh, that's great. We should do this more often. Hmm? I want to punch her in the mouth. Oh, this is... Oh, okay. That's some premium looking scotch. Have some, Manny. Just so you don't forget what premium tastes like. Hmm. Should we take some? We have. Of course. Sorry, oh, my internet shit. Hey, get out of there, Calavera. Desk drawers? I don't have desk drawers. We, we obviously can't do anything while he's looking at us. So. No. No. Um. I think we need to do something with the. Uh, la, la, la. the cards. What cards? The deck of cards. All right, and what, um, what would you like to do with them? That's why we need to find the hole punch. Which should be on Ava's desk. Right. I should close Bruno's record before the black marks burn into my screen. There wasn't anything on her desk, though. Got it out while we've been talking to Domino. Maybe, maybe. Or not. Mm -hmm. Hey, you missed.
missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Híjole, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't work for one. I can't find my driver. Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? No, but I like to hear your description of it, just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead until having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trapped soul and you don't even know it. Hmm. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Que tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. Where? Do this. What's your job like? Looking like screen. babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. Well, I gotta Can't go. click on these things yet. I'm wet. No. Because these look like dots from whole punches, don't they? These yeah, they do. Oh. You see, that just says, this is my secretary. Oh, this is my boss's secretary. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. Yeah, I don't understand. Hang on. Can I take your whole punch? Ha! I doubt you could take my half punch. <laughs> Mind if I use your whole punch? Knock yourself out. Okay, use it on. Thanks. Gets the aggression. You on the cards. My internet. <laughs> so. There we go. Yeah. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. Do I need to do it more than once? I don't, I don't know. No. Right now. So. I don't feel like pitching cards right now. <laughs> Put them back away in your pocket. And we'll go downstairs now. To where? Back down, back down to the lobby. That one, yeah. I couldn't play this card there. Going out into the street now? Oh, what's... Yeah. I think so. Yeah. They'll never get out of this place. <sighs> you and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your mm -hmm. empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. Or he left the door open. He did, but we need to go outside first. Oh, okay, no. But we'll remember this for later. I see we've punched holes in that card to make it a computer punch. Card punch? I think so, yeah. And I think we need to go and see the balloon man. I wasn't happy with this when we went first time. Well, you might be happier now. Yeah. 
Since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step, which is blow? <laughs> Twist me up one of them. Huh, um, we need to get him to make us a blue cap on the case. Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. We need two dead worms as well. Robert Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? Ta-da! Don't quite know what I'm supposed to do with that, man. Just no, so, I'll put it in your finest work, don't you think, Sparky? No, I just keep waving it at him. No. You can put it away into your jacket, into your infantry. Okay, good point. Well made. Those crates are completely blocking the sidewalk. What if there were a fire? They're just full of party favors, and I'm not in the party mood. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez, what now? A dead worm. Heck, that's easy. There's no limit on those. That's not what balloons are for. I don't got the lungs for it. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. We've got two dead worms. Do we need a cat as well? We need a cat. Yeah. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? Okay. A cat. No problem. Ta-da! Okay. No. Okay. Can we pick anything else up, like bread or anything, while we're here? I don't think we... Uh, let's see. Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. Yeah. There we go. She picks them up, yeah? Yeah, picks them up. Okay. Um, back to the lobby. Thinking those balloons might come in handy. You know when we were doing the two coloured things, squirty things? Yeah, yeah. You reckon they might go on the end of the hoses or something? Oh, okay. I don't know. I'm right, surmising. Uh, okay. Go, let's have a look in that. Oh, is it that side or the other side? The other side. We've got two open doors to look in. Okay. Let's have a look in the open doors then. Both. Uh, wait, do you want the other side first? Does it not matter? No, let's do this one first. We need to be here. Uh -huh. 
for those who enjoy no hassle travel. Bruno, you in one of these? Must have picked them up already. One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. So you think we could... Maybe. He didn't pull out a dead worm. Yeah, but you can cycle through them. Can you? How do you do that? Big fuck off arrows oh. each side. You mean the big arrows? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. them big arrows. Got you. I think that's the cat. Oh, okay. Filled it up. That's everything from this room. Okay. Um, Mali's office there. Oh, let's go check the other room out first. Yep. Jam this up somehow. The wheel won't turn and the door won't budge. Not picking that up. That wheel should open it. Right, so we can't move the wheel. Okay. But I do what if we put. Go on. I'm thinking of putting the balloons in the mail delivery system, but we can do it from Manny's office, can't we? You won't turn and the door won't budge. I was wondering if we would come down and steal Domino's customers. Oh, okay. Or get some delivered, maybe. I'm perhaps overthinking it. Just making me hungry. I've not had any tea yet. Um, <laughs> so, where do you reckon now then? Fanny's off first. I'm still sticking by my let's stick things in the mail delivery system. All right. You are the point and click expert. Ah, uh, I wouldn't go that far. Oh. What are you doing? Walking past the elevator. Is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes. Yeah. Sorry, my internet's slow, so I don't know what you're showing me. 
No use for it. Nope. Okay. Bread, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Look up below. <laughs> I mean, it was it, it was meant to go in. Yeah. Because it went in, and when we Let's tried try the other one first. Hey. Sorry. Carry on. <laughs> well, when we tried the balloon, a balloon, it said no need for that. But when we tried yeah. the bread, it took it. Yeah. So it's made crumbs downstairs. Right. Okay. Which we need something that I don't know would do something with the. With the crumbs. We need to go back down into that room, don't we? And see what the crumbs have done. Yeah. Copal, Domino Hurley, Junior Sales Associates. That better not be me. Warning, fire system, do not touch. That's not on fire. Hold on before you move away. What? 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 Oh, okay, <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> My internet's too slow. Okay. Is that on screen now? Is that what? what I was just what was that? Yeah. Do we need a key? Can't do anything with it now. It doesn't do anything. That's all right. No worries. I just wondered what it was. This room, I think it's the animation in it, really makes my internet go bleh. Right. So. What do you reckon now? I oh read that. Let's see. Where am I on this? How are you talking? Don't junior sales associates. That better not be me. No, I still think we need to try this. Stuff balloons into the message tube system. Okay.
No, actually, I shouldn't have done that. Should I? I shouldn't have done that. Then there we go. <laughs> How it works. And the other one. Half the sunday. The zoom in I mean it's gonna mix it all together, isn't it? And yep. Yep. like expanding so, foam. It's an epoxy, isn't it? Yeah. Ah. Ah. I wonder if you had to put the bread down to, I don't know, clear the tubes. Yeah, maybe to, yeah. That doesn't sound good. Now we need to head back down there, I reckon. I'm gonna say, back down. Servers down again. What else is new? to make sure that door doesn't shut then. Hi, I'm not getting any messages. Do you anything with that now? Okay. This is their idea of a joke? Oh. They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that. thing like this it's those punks in the mail room they think this baby is going to put them out of a job and they're right so you're saying the server is down is that it the server is not down it's never down it's just temporarily unavailable while i'm doing some maintenance that's all just curious, how'd you get in there? I squeezed out one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. Can I squeeze in there just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. Can we turn that from the inside now? Um, not while we're talking to him. Okay. How long is it going to be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. Well, I got a split. Yeah. Yeah. Again. Ah, 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 ah. You're trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher. Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here. What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste. Um, well, we need to stop this door from closing again. There should be, there we go. The wheel won't budge. Is that mm. a good thing? I don't know. Not picking that up. Doing. <sighs> Ah. 
don't think we've got anything, have we? That's not on fire. So we can only use that if it's a fire. Yeah. We we need to stop that door from shutting. Because when we leave, the pink demon's gonna follow us. And um he'll think he'll shut the door, but we need to get in there after him. Right. We need to find a way of we need to find how to work the bolt on it to open it. Is that anything? I've just locked an open door. Strange. There we go. Yet symbolically compelling. Oh, yeah, leave that like it is then we can go out now and you'll follow got yet no no leave it locked that's it good enough for government work Now we can go back in and use it to get a better client using the punch card. Are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. Oh, yeah. And it's even better company now. I'm in. Dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calaveda. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Mm -hmm. Yep. Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. <laughs> Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. 
Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha! Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been our volunteer work. Uh huh. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now, if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry. I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Anything else you want to come clean about? What else can I say? Mean to animals? Mm. Oh, no. I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. Uh, boss's office? I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Hey, funny bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino. That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there, on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld, alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! Right. Um... So how long have we been playing? A narrow okay, and a half just... I've never played past this point. Right, okay. Um, shall we do, t uh, say, 10, 15 more minutes? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, what's the time? Oh, what, two? Late 22. Anticipated. Do you want to yeah. save it here and we'll pick up again either next week or maybe we'll record a special... Yeah. ...and we'll carry on playing? Yeah, sounds good to me. Yeah. Yeah, it seems a good place to stop. Yeah, because it should have saved and stuff, shouldn't it? I don't know. Save game. Pop option. Uh, yeah, I was just... Um, it, I think it would have saved it anyway. Oh, shit. Uh, right, okay. Then, so let's just switch back to here. And... Um, 
let's say, yes, I know we started a little late, but that's it for tonight. Um, and it doesn't matter what Nutty Cluster draws on the screen, it, it doesn't <laughs> show on the uh, on the stream, which is good, really, being a family-friendly show and all that. Um, so, big thank you to Nutty Cluster for joining us live, down, down there, joining us live to play our traditional Christmassy point-and-click adventure. Um, Merry Christmas. And we'll we'll get her back and we'll play some more Grim Fandango um, the next episode. Maybe some more episodes. Who knows what the episodes are going to be over Christmas. So. Who knows? Or dare's to dream. Um, and I think I'm not even going to go back to the other screen. I'm just going to say uh, you can get hold of us anywhere you like. Um, we email retro at snugradio.co.uk. Retro at snugradio.co.uk. That's also the website, snugradio.co.uk. We're on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Twitch as Snug Radio. And you can join us on the Discord, the Snug Radio no. Discord. Yes, yes, we've got a Discord. Okay. So we'll be back later then some unspecified future time um, until then I've been math I've been B this has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge till next time play something retro bye yeah.